Have you ever sat down on your couch, picked up the remote, tapped a Netflix or YouTube icon, and within seconds, a movie or video just started playing? No discs, no cables, no waiting. It feels almost magical, especially when you remember a time when watching something meant inserting a DVD, rewinding tapes, or flipping through channels hoping something good was on. But behind that simple click is a surprisingly complex process that turns data into moving images and sound right in your living room. So how exactly do smart TVs stream content? Today we will figure that out right here on History of Simple Things. To understand this, we first need to talk about what makes a TV smart in the first place. A smart TV isn't just a screen, it's a small computer. Inside it are components similar to what you'd find in a smartphone or laptop, a processor, memory, storage, and software that runs everything. This built-in computer allows the TV to connect to the internet, install apps, and process streaming data in real time. Without this internal system, streaming simply wouldn't be possible. The journey begins the moment your smart TV connects to the internet. This connection usually happens through Wi-Fi or an ethernet cable. When your TV is online, it can communicate with servers located all over the world. These servers are owned by streaming services like Netflix, Disney Plus, or Amazon Prime Video. They store massive libraries of movies, shows, and videos, far too large to ever fit inside your TV itself. When you open a streaming app and select a video, your TV sends a request over the internet to the service's server. Think of it like ordering food at a restaurant. You don't get the entire kitchen delivered to your table, just the dish you asked for. In the same way, your TV doesn't download the entire movie at once. Instead, it asks for small pieces of the video, one chunk at a time. This is where streaming really earns its name. The content is broken into tiny data packets, which are sent to your TV continuously. As soon as the first few seconds of video arrive, your TV starts playing them while the rest keeps loading in the background. This process is called buffering. And it's the reason you can start watching almost immediately instead of waiting for the full video to download. You might have noticed that sometimes the video quality changes while you're watching. One moment it's crystal clear, and the next it looks slightly blurry. This isn't a mistake, it's actually your TV being smart. Streaming services use something called adaptive bitrate streaming. Your TV constantly checks how fast and stable your internet connection is. If the connection slows down, the service sends a lower quality version of the video so playback doesn't stop. When the connection improves, the quality goes back up. All of this happens automatically without you needing to do anything. Now let's talk about compression, because without it, streaming wouldn't work at all. Raw video files are enormous. A single uncompressed movie could be hundreds of gigabytes in size. To make streaming practical, videos are compressed using codecs like H264, H265, or newer formats such as AV1. These codecs remove unnecessary data that the human eye is unlikely to notice, shrinking the file size while keeping the picture looking good. Your smart TV then decodes this compressed data and turns it back into images and sound in real time. Audio follows a similar path. Just like video, sound is compressed, transmitted in packets, and decoded by your TV. That's why your TV can deliver surround sound or Dolby Atmos, even though everything is coming through a single internet connection. The TV synchronizes the audio and video so they match perfectly, creating the seamless experience you're used to. Apps play a huge role in this entire process. 
Streaming apps are essentially specialized programs designed to communicate with specific streaming servers. Each app knows how to request content, manage buffering, adjust quality, and display menus. Your smart TV's operating system, such as Android TV, WebOS, Tizen, or Roku OS, acts as the manager, making sure these apps run smoothly and securely. It also handles updates, bug fixes, and compatibility with new streaming standards. Another important piece of the puzzle is digital rights management, often shortened to DRM. Streaming services need to protect their content from being copied or pirated. When you press play, your TV verifies that you're authorized to watch that content. This usually happens in the background through encryption and secure licenses. It's quick, invisible, and essential for streaming platforms to operate legally. You may wonder why smart TVs sometimes feel slower over time. The reason is that streaming technology keeps evolving. New codecs, higher resolutions like 4K and 8K, and advanced features like HDR demand more processing power. Older TVs may struggle because their hardware wasn't designed for these newer standards. It's not that the TV suddenly became worse. It's just being asked to do more than it was originally built for. What's fascinating is how invisible all of this technology has become. You don't see the data packets, the servers, or the decoding process. You just see a show start playing. This simplicity is intentional. The goal of smart TVs isn't to make you think about technology. It's to let you forget it's even there. Looking ahead, smart TV streaming is only going to get more advanced. Faster internet speeds, better compression, and smarter processors will make higher quality content easier to stream with fewer interruptions. Features like personalized recommendations, interactive content, and cloud gaming are already pushing the limits of what a TV can do. So the next time you sit down, press play, and instantly dive into a movie or video, remember what's happening behind the scenes. Your smart TV is connecting to distant servers, requesting compressed data, adjusting quality on the fly, decoding video and audio in real time, and delivering it all to your screen in perfect sync. What feels simple is actually the result of years of innovation working together seamlessly turning your TV into a window to the world powered entirely by streaming. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.